Okay, so let's give you sort of the overview of what this Chevy MyLink system has for Apple CarPlay. So looking at this here, as you can see, there's the music, messages, Spotify, Waze, Google Maps, podcasts, and phone. So what's nice about this is you can really you can really choose whatever you want here that's off of your phone. So if I want to play some music, then I can play some music off of Spotify, which is really nice, or I can play music that's right off of my phone. So I can go, you know, to my artist that I have here. Uh, so I don't really have that many here. I just have a couple of downloaded songs and another album by Kesha. And then here, this is really nice. Who do you want to send it to? Personal phone. What do you want to say? Hey, how's it going? What are you up to tonight? Question mark. Your message to personal phone says, hey, how's it going? What are you up to tonight? Ready to send it? Your message to personal phone says, hey, how's it going? What are you up to tonight? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So that's as easy as, see, now I have, read that. Personal phone said, from, hey, how's it going? What are you up to tonight? So really easy. No thanks. Okay. So that's really easy. And then going to just a bunch of other things here. Going to Waze, checking that out. Nice and easy. Loads okay. It's not that fast, so if I'm sure, let's go here. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's that's going back to Chicago. Um, this touchscreen doesn't zoom in or zoom out like this, but you do get options here. Zoom in, zoom out like this. So you can see uh, if I wanna go here. Uh, so you can done, you know, let's tell if you, notifications, um, you can, I have to choose one. Okay. Do you, I think that's turn by turn directions, but we'll see what that pops up. So obviously not the quickest. Uh, this is this only works when you're plugged in via USB. So uh, that could be an issue for somebody. Um, so these are just the optional routes that I could take. Uh, so that's really cool. I think for this particular thing, uh, Google Maps works a little bit more seamless. So for example, if I want to go to the last destination that I went to, um, let's go to that one. And then you can choose more routes, which is really nice. Uh, okay, yep. So that's really easy. Like I said, uh, this is similar to how Waze was. You can't swipe here, but you can you can uh, zoom out, zoom in, and then use these directional buttons to choose um, where you're looking at here. Um, and like I said, uh, as you can see here, so let's exit and then go back into it. Go. Yep, we know it's gonna close. So as you can see right here, it pushes where the center is um, over to the right here. Uh, I wish it was like here, but I think because this text juts out that uh, it might get in the way and impede um, the navigation directions. And, and if you're looking at it, uh, it might it might impede that. So that, that might be the issue that, that I'm talking about there. And like I said, all of the other things are very easy. Uh, looking in podcasts, uh, at mine here, so Everyday Driver and the Smoking Tire, uh, Candace and Casey's Couples Therapy, and yeah, so all of this stuff is really easy and really nice. Every car should really have something similar to this, if not this. Um, there are some improvements to talk about when we're talking about speed and sort of precision, but overall they've integrated this really well in the car and I really like this system. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.